Speaking of Washington, fascinating situation. It really is fascinating when you look at what's going on at Washington. Quick thoughts from me on this before I get your thoughts. Um, I've been saying all year that Washington, to me, Chris Peterson has not really broken through to the elite level, the very, 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 very top. You know, certainly he's done a great job. I'm not saying he hasn't. And, and in a sense, he's really done a great job in that he's really stabilized that program and brought it back up to the level where Washington people expected it to be for a long time. And it hadn't been a little yep. bit like USC a few years ago. Right. Uh, it, up until now, USC fans, the programs, they're winning games, but it's not where they want it. And it was kind of similar at UW. Peterson has brought that back. But now, it, it, this reminds me of Bob Stoops. Is it fair to compare this to Bob Stoops and Lincoln Riley and Jimmy Lake and, and Peterson? I think it's some, just a succession plan, absolutely. I mean, you know, even Ohio State a little bit. Uh, you're, we're seeing these high-level coaches burning out when they're still in their 50s. Uh, part of the reason they're so, so successful is that they have made good hires on the coordinator front. And so they do have a candidate waiting there. You know, I think that it's probably the reason Jimmy Lake turned down the Alabama defensive coordinator post last yep. last winter. You know, so yep. uh, it it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, it's like uh, Peterson's greatest trick play, right? It is something none of us saw right. coming, right. but it was immaculately planned. And he's got the guy right there. Lake is was an obvious candidate, <clears throat> and everything should. You know, if as transitions go, it should be as smooth as they could have hoped. Yeah, I, I, in the back of my mind, it it really is almost exactly like Stoops. My thought process is, is it because he can't? I mean, does Chris Peterson say to it? He, is he sitting at the edge of the bed in the last year or last couple of years and saying to himself, "God, you know, we're we're a good team. We're at that top level, but we're not at that elite level." And I'm not so sure. I want to turn myself into Urban Meyer, let's say, and go 24-7 to get us into that playoff every year. Could that be a part of that thought process that he just doesn't want to go crazy, or is there something else at work there with Peter? I think that that's a lot, too. That's a lot of it. I don't know necessarily that he is, he is thinking in his head, you know, palpably thinking to get to the playoff, I've got to work X number more hours a week. I think it's just the general grind. I mean, he's clearly well, a you've little got the transfer portal. I mean, he's been a guy who's been a big critic of that kind of yeah. stuff, right? Oh, absolutely. And, <clears throat> and just the, the, you know, the pay to play, the, the recruiting, the social media, I mean, all these things combine to make it more difficult, more intense for the coach. He's like a Dabo light. Peterson is right. Wouldn't you say uh, he, Dabo's you know, complained about that stuff too. Yeah. But Dabo, I think is willing to pay the price. Hey, let's get a miniature golf course over here. You're right. You know? Right. No, I, I mean, yeah. he's, he's willing to walk the walk where I don't think Chris really wanted to get to maybe, I don't no. know him. So I don't think that, I don't think he does want to walk that walk. And, and right. the fact that he stayed at Boise as long as he did and turned down jobs, you know, that, you know, some, some really high profile jobs, and waited and waited and then went to Seattle from Boise to Seattle. That tells you a lot about, about him and his priorities, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, you could say what would Chris Peterson be like in Norman or Columbus or Tuscaloosa, you know, that's kind of not him. He's a little bit different. And so this kind of fits. If you had told me a year or two ago, Chris Peterson is not going to make it past 55. I wouldn't have been that surprised because the burnout, I just wouldn't have known that it was coming now and that it was coming in this manner. That's the surprising element. 